there was no fan base. I remember going to a convention and I was asked to speak um, after I went to Fresno, I was asked to speak on uh, marketing because we led the nation in attendance 20 of the 27 years I was there. And, um, and I was asked to speak on marketing and there was only like 10 people in the room, you know, and then the next year that I spoke on it <laughs> and the next year I spoke on it, there were like 30, you know, to 40 people because it was starting to grow and you, you just, ha we had to figure out how do we get the fans in the stands because most of us didn't have lights. We were playing in really, you know, weird facilities and you had to play during the day and it's hard to get fans when you're playing on a Wednesday afternoon at one. So we, we did a lot of things at Fresno State that no one else tried and, um, and it worked for us. So I think that, that made a big difference. We also built the first stadium. And I think once that stadium got built, um, certainly none of the mid-major, or none of the um, big five schools were going to let a mid-major school have a better facility. So they all started putting money in it and we got ours through Title IX. It was a very rough battle, you know, to get that. But I mean, I wouldn't have it any other way. But um, I, I just think when you started adding on to the game, I mean, even the run and slap changed the game. We never heard of a run and slap when I started playing. I mean, you were in the batter's box and you didn't move. Well, you also didn't have to wear a helmet or shin guards or anything else because maybe we were more highly skilled then. I don't know. Or if maybe the game was just slower. But Nobody ever got hit in the head that I can remember. Um, I mean, I think I hit one person in my whole career before helmets came along, and that was because my coach told me to hit her. You know, it wasn't it wasn't because I made a mistake. It was just it was just a different time, and and I think all those additions have been very positive. Uh,